Hello! Izzy and I are off to Tavoyle today. We're getting the train into town. We're going to meet up with one of Izzy's friends. We're getting off at Queen Street, which is the next stop. waiting to cross the road here. Oh, we are crossing the road here by the castle and we can already see there's a brass band outside the castle playing away. Ooh. Seems to be one kind of weird filtering system thingy going on here. I've never seen that before. Not at Tavoil anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we are. <laughs> Great, we're going in now. Hi! <laughs> this is Charlotte, is his mate. Well, okay, one of them. Sweet treat girl on YouTube. <laughs> we're coming to see uh, our friend's band actually. Well, we were going to come anyway, but we wanted to coincide when his band was on, so that's Wigwam. Uh, that's Reese, you might have seen him in some of the vlogs. But we just discovered there is a bag search at the end of this turnstile I thingy. I it out. <laughs> yeah, it's Charlotte noticed great. it. Uh, the problem is, me and Izzy, as you know, a bit. You know, we go from place to place and we have all our worldly possessions with us, including underwear. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy got off lightly, they didn't doubt him deeply. <laughs> We've been handed this on arrival, good. Okay, being into folk music as I am, I'm heading straight for that tent because I can hear some very folky sounds coming out of it. So in case you didn't know, Tavoyle means Taff Festival. The Taff is the river here in Cardiff. And this is an annual event, which is Welsh medium. I mean, it's open to absolutely anybody who wants to come in. You don't have to speak Welsh to come here. I'm only a learner, doing dusky Cumbraig. But here we are, let's check this band out.
is the big house in Cardiff Castle. Look, we can't get in there today. If you live or work in Cardiff, you can qualify to get a castle key, which is a discounted ticket, which you can use for unlimited access. But today, it's free for everybody to come in. But you can't go up in the keep and you can't access this building, but there are some parts you can access. And in true South Walian style, it's now starting to rain. I love this old tree here. I think it's some sort of oak, I'm not sure. Izzy's gone off exploring with Charlotte somewhere. I know, shame. You wanted to climb on that dragon as well, didn't you? Oh, it's later than I thought. I'm missing the start of Wigwam. They apparently started one minute ago. They're on the main stage. I've had to get the umbrella out because it is really raining now. Mein Buru Blau. All of a sudden, anywhere undercover gets more popular. <laughs> I'm glad I bought an umbrella. I remember from last year it rained. They were giving out free plastic ponchos. They probably are again. Oh, naughty seagulls! Oi! <gasps> sure that seagull's got a whole burger in his mouth. Beak. They're in a frenzy.
everything. Hey, I need what she's got. Well, that was cool, wasn't it? I really enjoyed that. Pity about the rain, but quite a lot of people were braving it out. They were obviously enjoying it. Uh, time for a little explore now, I think. I'm going to go in the learner's tent and sort my bag out. Well, I just went in the learner's tent, ended up having quite a long chat in Welsh. Yay, go me! Because I'm a bit rubbish. But anyway, I had a good go. I was actually trying to ask in there if I could find a class for Izzy to just brush her Welsh up. She can speak Welsh and she can understand Welsh but she hasn't got the confidence to speak it out loud. But a class for learners would be really good, I think. Just what she needs, but there's nothing. Nothing until she's 16, but when she's 16, she can go and do the adults course. So, just under two years to go, we'll just have to hold out and be patient. That's probably sounded a bit weird. If this is the first time you've come to our channel, we're homeschoolers and we homeschool through English medium. But she did go to Welsh school till she was six and she's done some drama group and stuff like that in Welsh for years and years. So she understands it all and well most of it she understands more than she lets on just want to brush it up really man it is really coming down now i've got quite a juggling act here with the umbrella switching the camera on and off with one hand and, and my teeth is getting quite interesting <laughs> shall we just go in for a bit let's get out of the rain come on i'll go up there at the castle walls i think and i'll give you a bit of a pan across the proceedings here we've got the youth sports They've got all sorts of activities going on there, that looks fun. This bit up here is Izzy's favourite bit. It's the World War II bomb shelter. And that tent there, I don't know if you can hear the piano and some singing, that's where all the children do choir performances and things like that, representing their various schools. Yeah, in there, they used to shelter people from the war in World War II, and they have it all replicated like it was. I'm going up the castle walls anyway. Oh, now this is where I should have watched the band, look. Shelter from the trees a bit. The next act's getting ready now. Ah, oh, I can see a heron over there. Where's he gone? There he is. Standing out in the rain. We're in a bit of peace and quiet. Go in is his favourite bit. They have all scary sound effects. It's for the air raid experience. Oh, look at those on the ceiling. Stalactites. <laughs> Okay, I've given up the ghost with that Sony handy cam. I'm now on the GoPro, so do excuse any difference in quality. Still raining, as you can see. We're starting to get hungry. Let's find somewhere to have a little picnic. We've got a sandwich in the bag. I'm trying to figure out what this is about. Someone's phone's going off. It's the taste, apparently. A blast. I'm not really sure what they're saying. I can understand oh, 70% of it, but I'm never quite sure. And I hope they don't ask me a question. I think I'm going to sit in for a bit and see if I can figure some of it out. I changed my mind because they're all eating crisps in there. Comparing the tastes. I'd rather have my sandwich, to be honest. <laughs> Lots of people seem to be picnicking here. There's loads of stalls selling food. Picnic blankets, but they're kind of a bit wet today. Band's back on over there, well, a different band. This is the sports bit. In this tent behind me, there's art and craft activities going on, I think. And some games and things like that for children. More toys out on the lawn here. 
massive crowd outside that one. I think that's the school's tent. Toilets. There's a literature tent there and a yurt. There's art and craft going on in the yurt. Lots of little children in there on the floor. I'm going to go and have a sit in the Welsh learner's tent anyway and listen to what's going on. Should be nice basic Welsh for me. My name's Sharad. I'm David Bowie. A sauna of Iggy Pop, Bowie, Shuwed, Ugo Pasmo in Berlin. Again, it was some yard to do me to learn what's Some sort of question and answer session. But having only just joined and it being a Welsh, I'm not quite sure what the theme is yet. So, skinny them to whisk them here, but it's all finished now but just hanging out and a drink and a sandwich a lot of people have the same idea it's very much still raining but come back to the main stage to see what's happening there's another band on <laughs> time for that, right? Oh, Blinky Neck, they've just finished. <laughs> I should have looked at the timetable, shouldn't I? There is a sea of pink everywhere. <laughs> Let's try the folk tent. I have absolutely no idea where Izzy and Charlotte have got to. I have texted and tried to ring, but there's been no reply. But this is quite usual. So I right, update on the girls, they're fine. Apparently they're having a blast, whatever they're doing. Eating pizza, I was asking Isabel, I said, do you want your sandwich yet? And she's going, no, 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 thank you. I said, you're eating something, aren't you? Yeah, pizza. She said they're easily identifiable as they are wearing blue bin bags, but there are quite a few people wearing blue bin bags around, so they're not actually bin bags, they're ponchos. Mostly pink, though. Mmm, I wonder if we can find them. Let's go back at the other band tent, at least it's dry in there. Not folk music this time, some other sort. We're not going to get in there, are we? It's really, really packed. The more popular venue in the wet weather. Breton band. We need to find out the name.
you can see, it is still raining a lot. I haven't seen the girls for ages. I have no idea where they are. Let's see if we can find them. It's banned on in this tent as well, by the look of it. have come up here. Looks like quite a lot of people are getting out of the rain. Well, no, she wasn't up there. But I did find a friend that I hadn't seen for a few years and we had a jolly good natter for quite some time and it's still raining but it's only spitting now and I'm resuming my search. We are now leaving. I found the girls. She's vlogging on her phone which she just lost and found luckily. Well we were heading off but we got waylaid. What's this shop called? Forbidden Planet? I don't know. I didn't make sense. I didn't notice. But look! You must be upgraded. Upgraded is compulsory. Oh, no, it's <laughs> if anyone wants to buy me this, then please do. She's going to drive us all mad with this. Well, we weren't expecting to see this. Hello, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> How are you doing? That's Doris. Yeah, we'll call her Doris. Since it is a female. The rain is finally easing off a little bit. Not entirely, though. Charlotte's just pointed out that by the kingdom of sweets, there's this suspicious looking smoke coming out of the hole. That smells really good. It smells of sweeties. I think mm. it's deliberate. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to try and yawn. I'm tempted to go in there, but I am not going in there. <laughs> I am broke. I think subways do the same thing with bready smells, you know, because it always smells so delicious. Bread. Bread. <laughs> We've ended up with a bit of time to spare, haven't we, Izzy? And we've come to Nata and Co. For some pastéis de Nata and a café and some late au chocolat. So I've spoken Portuguese, ordering it, and Welsh earlier. So three languages I've spoken today. I'm so excited. See that all my wants to say something. Oh. It's not very nice. He's a see bet or mine. See bet or mine. She's plural. Sibel on mine. Sibel on mine. Same. Hello. <laughs> We're so multicultural in this family. Let's see what this is like then. That is really good actually. Best coffee I've had in ages. How's the ukal? So good. <laughs> also, mummy. Mm -hmm. You should have waited for a few minutes. Why? 50% off all foods from 4 pm. No way. And it's 3.59. Oh no. She's actually right. Look, there's a sign over there. I'm gonna bear that in mind. That's pretty good too. Thank you so much for joining us today on our trip to Tavoil. We really enjoyed it. If you want to follow more from this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Comment down any thoughts in the comments. I'd love to know if you were at Tavoil and what you thought of it and hit the like button if you want to help the channel to grow and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!